scenes from the next episode. Don't quit strong bad gaming. Settings, settings, check, check. Saving the load, saving the load. Are you ready to new game? All right, Sonor Fun Machine. Let's see what you got for me today. Ah, dang, it's Limousine's Hot Babely and Odyssey. Loosely based on the life and times of the coolest rock band in the world, Limousine! Okay, Hot Babelians, get ready to be rescued and romanced by my rock and roll rulage. Hey, what was that? No! Please! No, no, no! No! Come on, man! Don't do this to me! Ah! Go on! Get! Scram! Oh, crap cakes! Not again! I just sprayed three cans of 4WD in the cartridge slot this morning! Looks like I'll have to take it to the only fully licensed vid electrician in town. Bubs. Don't worry, my poor broken fun machine. Bubs will fix you up better than new. Come on, pile. I know you got some change in there. I'd even take Canadian coins at this point. Oh, man. Not even a single loony. I'm not sticking my gloves in there for at least another month. Probably two. The TV seems so lonely without the fun machine. I used to hide Strong Sad's retainer in the 7-track all the time, so it still felt like part of the team. Over the years, I've collected every title featured on this poster. But for some reason, I can only ever find about one a month. That's a teaser poster for the off-delayed cinematic classic to be, Dangerous 3, The Criminal Projective. People keep bugging me about Dangerous 3. Someday I really should get around to writing a script for it. Or coming up with a budget. Basically anything beyond the make poster phase of development. Alright, the Tarantula Black Metal Detector! Now with built-in shovel attachment. Time for a little bit of randomly violent Teen Girl Squad fun! What the crap? Where'd all my notebook paper go? How can I draw any new episodes without any loose leaf? I won't be able to write any more adventures of the lovable Teen Girl Squad until I get some more paper. The great thing about these schools is they hand out a free diploma for every three pennants you buy. Water successfully wasted. Last month, Strong Sad sat me down and explained the ins and outs of the washing machine to me. The dryer, however, remains as enigmatic as ever. I haven't checked the couch cushions for change, chips, or charred remains recently. What's this? Nothing says I have no business wearing these like leopard print pants. I may have to oil myself up just to fit in them at the photo booth. What's this? Nothing. Cool, a marathon of those depressing rockumentaries. Uh-oh, they did the inverted negative photo thing. Somebody's going to rehab. Hey, this rockumentary is about that band Big Knife. No way, the lead singer's name isn't really Rip Knife? I feel so used. Do we really need a rockumentary about the guys who wrote Left Shift Alt Delete? Once those replacement parts clear customs, I'll be back to burninating peasants in the comfort of my basement the way the good Lord Trogdor intended. Ah, 
Uh, no. Check out my Squealin' Larry limousine microphone! Yeah! Whoa, I sound awesome! I bet I could make all kinds of cardboard boxes materialize out of thin air with this thing! I'm just saying. Yeah! Awesome! A sloshy t-shirt? Those glasses wearing short hair havers? I guess I'll put it in my pan-dimensional photo booth. Ugh! Hello, Pittsburgh! Hello, Pittsburgh! Good afternoon, Green Bushes! How you feeling? Good afternoon! Hmm, something's wedged in the Luxa Lounger. Whoa! Oh man, it's a limousine shot glass featuring high kicking Larry Palaroncini! That box of cheap commandos, though, is getting a little funky. But I refuse to throw out breakfast cereals until I solve the mazes on the back. Ah! Jeez! You'd think someone balled up a bunch of forks and stuck them in there yesterday. Sweet! A can of Wallapino flavored aerosol cheese! Easily one of my top five foamy orange food products ever. We keep the rotting corpse of Charlemagne around in the hopes that he'll one day rise from the grave. Looks like today's the day I take my fun machine to Bubs for some emergency repairs. Alright, it's the cover of my limousine game manual, in all its hastily licensed glory. And now it's time for a breakdown. Ah, uh, that's the stuff. In the time it would take me to read that sign, I could not loaf at least twice. I must have left my lighter here during last night's candlelight Spemales After Dark session. Mmm. I think the Lappy's had enough juice for now. I guess not. Sometimes I think this stool moves an inch or two to the left behind my back, just to mess with my head. That's where I keep all my defunct computer games. Most of them won't even run on the lappy anymore without, like, turning off all the RAM and hitting it with a brick. Emails, 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 emails! Yo, S to the B. I'm trying to come up with a good name for my band, but it seems like all the good ones are taken. Any ideas? No name brand band. That's true, Brandy. All the good ones are taken. That's why you need to start thinking of futuristic band names. Like My Personal Jetpack, or The Robot Rebellion. Ooh, ooh, or Really, Really, Really Tiny Cell Phone. That should be enough to get you started. But I'm gonna need my royalties in the year 2086 dollars. Or Globnars, as they will then be called. Thanks, SB. <laughs> Let me hear you come on! Strongsad ordered this bookshelf from one of them designy, foreign, put-it-together-yourself catalogs. This little guy is called Flurgendroon. Strongsad ordered Flurgen. What's that? That's my Totalmatic Sudden Shot camera. It's so obsolete, 
that it actually uses a mysterious substance known as film to make pictures. Whoa, exotic. Can I borrow it? No way, Strong Bad. Stop grabbing at my stuff. Stop grabbing at my stuff. Hey there, Sister Christian. Remarkably, I don't have time for you today, Strong Bad. I'm sure I'll instantly regret asking this, but, uh, what you doing? I've finally decided to pursue my dream of becoming a snooty rock and roll journalist. A rock and roll journal? <laughs> you won't be bwaha ha after I've sold the poignant coming-of-age tale of my snooty exploits to a snooty independent movie studio. You're right. I, I shouldn't... <laughs> oh. I forget. What are you doing again? I'm preparing to set sail on my dream of becoming a snooty rock and roll... <laughs> ...journalist. I forget. What are you doing again? I'm pre... <laughs> ...journalist. I don't know how to tell you this, but someone broke the fun machine! Someone? Yeah, I think it was someone Jackson. Or maybe someone Jackson Jr. Can you fix it? No, but Bubs has a black belt in fixing outdated electronics. Well, Bubs will probably make me pay for it. With money. I also accept firstborn children. Are you sure you can't fix the fun machine? All signs point to leave me alone and go to Bubs. You don't know anything about a bat infestation, do you, Count Succula? Ah, I see you've met the Von Blaubloods. The Von what? The Von Blaubloods. A rich lineage of fruit bats I'm raising in my bat hutch. I don't care how cool their last name is. Tell them to stay out of my room. Aren't bat hutches supposed to be out of doors? Or in of marzipan's bed? Normally. But the Von Blaubloods love the delicate mixture of dank and damp here in my room. Well, the bile in my throat tells me it's time to stop talking to you. I've got a fun machine to get repaired. Stupid British dudes that I thought were ugly British chicks. Just as I thought. Crinkly! Strongsad still has one of those plastic wet-the-bed liners under his sheets. Hollerin' Jimmy's bat hutch kit? Since when do you keep bats in your room? Not just any bats. The Von Blaubloods are an extended family of majestic fruit bats. They inspire me. To what? Get rabies? Can I borrow your awesome bat hutch? I... Uh, want to do that thing with the tinfoil that screws up their sonar. You leave the Von Blaubloods alone. Okay, okay, jeez. Don't foam at the mouth. Hey, how'd you get your fake dress-up sword out of Pom Pomerania? Or Club Techno Chocolate? That, my friend, is a tale fraught with intrigue, drama, and mild adventure. It all started... Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Can I borrow it? No. Come on, let me borrow your wussy role-playing sword. Not for all the golden peasantry. Come on, let me borrow your wussy role-playing sword. Not f Welcome to Mildew City. Please, fasten your gag reflex. Strongside keeps the sink clean enough to eat out of. Which I often make him do. Why, hello, Gorgius. Why, hello, Gorgius! It's a miracle the toilet is still functioning after the workout the King of Town gave it last month. This is where my brother keeps all his extra singlets, gym socks, and athletical supporting devices. Whoa! There's something I haven't seen in, like, forever! Strong Sad cried for days when I defaced this record into the most awesome album cover idea ever!
I bet you could sell like a kajillion records if you put together an album cover like this. Strongman plays a heavy bass. Literally. The strings are actually those cables they use to hold up bridges. This is Belinda, Strongman's favorite dumbbell. She's a bit on the heavy side, but she has a great personality. Come on in here. Man, that painting is creepy. And strong mad stuffed dinosaur, Pudonkus. Hey, Muscles, mind if I borrow this? Pudonkus! Guess so. Hey, little man. Where's my pick? What's new in your monosyllabic world? Cool types. Oh, band practice, huh? Have you kicked Marzipan out yet? She brings snacks! Fair enough. I forget, who else is in Marzipan's band? The cheat on skins! Man, why does Marzipan get to hog all my bros? Why can't she start one of those lame core bands with Strong Sat instead? Now, don't freak out, big fella, but I got some bad news about the fun machine. Fun machine, okay? Not exactly. See, there's been an accident and... Make better! Must play Lady Snake Parade! Okay, okay, I'll make the fun machine better. Man. Lady Snake Parade! Just to be sure, what would you do if the fun machine were broken? Smash stuff! Break stuff! That's what I thought. Did you know that Strong Sat is raising bats with a cool last name in his room? Save the bats! La la la! Ah, uh, you like him too? Did you know that Strong Sat is save? Ah. Uh, well, this has been fascinating and articulate, but I got a fun machine to repair. See you later, S Mad. I think this little patch of ground has already horked up its share of treasure today. Box peering guy! Hey! Whoa! It's a shot glass with generically tall limousine bass player Perry Palaroncini. Nothing new here. Band practice at Marzipan's is always good for a little heckling. Where should I put her house? I honestly thought it was called Bub's Concess 5 stand for years. What's this jobby here, Bub's? That's my diamond-encrusted plantanium record I got back in the day for selling a bajillion records. Oh, from your days with the duo duo. Don't you say that name, old. Uh, about this gold spray-painted record. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, what's this? Some kind of old contest entry form? Win a rip-roaring rock debut with Limousine's album cover design contest. If you've got a photo that you think is tough enough, simply scribble your name and address on the back, slap on a stamp, and send it to blah 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 blah. If your photo is chosen, you get to spend a whole day with Limousine for your rip-roaring rock debut! Whoa, an entire day with Limousine at my call and back! That would be so 
tremendously awesome that it kind of hurts my brain and I maybe need some aspirin! Bubs, you gotta help me! It's my fun machine! It's broken! It is? Well, we can fix that no problem! Oh, good. I was afraid that... That'll be one big sack of cash! One big sack of what? One big sack of cash! This is gonna be a tricky job! I gotta order some parts, hire some skilled labor, go back to night school, maybe take some tap lessons. How am I gonna get a big sack of cash? You could get a job. I sure could use an apprentice grime taster. No, there has to be a more convoluted way. But how? Rock and roll! So bad! That's it! I'll put on a battle royale of the bands and use the profits to fix my fun machine. I know all about putting on concerts, Strong Bad. I'll even help you out. You will? Sure, I love little side projects. I'm knitting a winter vest with my feet right now. See? Terrifying. So, who should I get for my battle royale of the bands? Slow down there, strong band. Before you start signing up any acts, you're gonna need two things. Security and celebrity judges. Boring. Without celebrity judges, no one's gonna bother to come see the kind of fourth-rate acts that'll pay to be in a contest. And without someone running security, who'll monitor the line to the cold one stand? The mist tent? The porta potties Who the crap wants that job? I don't know, man. But while you were staring at my feet, I made you this deluxe security jacket. Get some poor sap to wear this thing and find me some celebrity judges. That will be an illegitimate business. Bubs! Strong man! How's it shaking, bacon? I can't believe you're making me pay actual real money for my fun machine repairs. Believe it! How am I gonna get anyone to wear this ridiculous security jacket? Why don't you try lying through your teeth? It always works for me. Well, what about lying through your rectangular mouth? Yeah, I suppose that work, toothless. Do you know how hard it is to find A-list celebrities in this Z-list town? Tell me about it. For my last infomercial, I skipped the A-list, the B-list, and went straight to the FBI Most Wanted list. Though Biscuit Dough Hands Man sure helped me sell a lot of food processors. Hey, Bubs, if I won a day with Limousine, do you think they'd be good celebrity judges for my concert? Limousine? Yeah, I bet they're just the right amount of washed up to be perfect celebrity judges. Well, I've got rock history to write. Catch you on the flip side, boobs. See you later, promotinator. This must be what Bubs used to make that lame security jacket. Well, all right! Uh... That's not flammable. Lots of cool bands have posed in front of this wall over the years. Lots of cool midget bands. Lots of... Yeah! Whoa! Box-peering guy! Hey! All right, a headband! I can use this to keep sweat from streaming into my eyes while I'm belting out power ballads in the photo booth. Eat at Bubs. Do I have to? Eat at Bubs. Bubs doesn't need this light head star. Why does he waste money on advertising when he's the only game in town? And he's right over there. Eat! 
against the stick. Keep on sticking it out, Sticky. Jugga jugga jow, sweetle now. Ooh. Let's see what sort of gibberish the old drive-through whale is spouting today. I'm a pretty girl. Well, that was unexpected. If you're dissatisfied with our service, please accept our invitation to bite me. Whoa! Backing out may result in severe liver damage. In the event of a firestorm, the salad bar will remain open. Welcome to Bobo's. We hope you enjoyed your life. Come again. Please smile for the Bobo's satellite camera. What the? Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to strut down Hollywood Boulevard in this pair of Hollywood Boulevards. I gotta try these on at the photo booth. Well, all right! Uh... The makeout mobile is looking especially fearsome today. Like a burning car, like an imploding star. Good old Grammy. Hmm, that oil slick is new. Maybe it also has smoke screen and missiles. Someone should really do something about, or preferably with, that oil slick. Now, what was it Strong Sad told me about cleaning oil spills? Um, set it on fire! Thanks, big little brother! I never said that! Too late! Okay, not too shabby, but it's still not quite jumping out at me and tearing out my jugular. Strong Badia, pop tire, pop tire, pop tire? Hey, that's pretty funny. Why did I never get that before? What the crap? Someone's been vandalizing Strong Badia's precious natural resources. Man, repainting this is seriously gonna deplete Strong Badia's treasury. I may have to raise taxes. Sorry, Tyre. Man, re- The Tyre once told me he was a spare on Limousine's tour bus, but I think he was just... inflating his resume! <laughs> the strong belly of flag is flying at half-mast until the fun machine returns to full-mast. Now this is cool! A limousine shot glass of Gary Palleroncini demonstrating the hardest chord ever! 
For my money, nothing calms the jangled nerves like screwing with Marzipan Zen Garden. Carefully arranging this rock in my pants will enhance my overall serenity. This window is usually where I steal fresh pies from Marzipan. Not today, though. Hey, Marzipan's windows. You're looking so breakable today. Throwing rocks through Marzipan's windows would be fun, but getting busted wouldn't. I'm not putting a rock through that window unless I can find someone dumb enough to take the fall for my high-level jinx. Hey, 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 my span, this is Wade. My name is Wade. Just wanted to say how psyched we are to have you guys involved with Bad Aid this year. Uh, anyways, just hoping I could score some kind of promo photo of the band, you know, to put up at the local herbal, coffee, nutritional, food, book, store, yoga, incense. Anyways, be well, sameling. Hey, Melissa Band, this is Wade. Wade from Bad Aid. <laughs> Poetry. Um, listen, you got any cool tapes photos with just that baseball bat dude in them? Those other two creatures are really starting to freak people out around here. And not in the good way. <laughs> Be well, Samling. Hey, teenage lobotomy. Don't bother me, Strong Bear. I've got snooty rock journalism to pursue. What drags you out to Cool Tapes practice space? Er, waste of space? I'm covering the Cool Tapes preparations for their next gig. A benefit concert for the vegan albino bat. Wow. Slow music news day, huh? I'm also keeping my ears open for chatter about any hot new acts. The cool tapes have lots of connections in the underground music scene. What drags you out to cool tapes practice space? Er, waste of space. I'm covering the cool tapes preparations for their next gig. A benefit concert for the vegan albino bat. Wow, slow music news day, huh? I'm also keeping my ears open for chatter about any hot new acts. The cool tapes have lots of connections in the underground music scene. How'd Marzipan get two kinda cool guys like Strong Matt and the Cheat in her band anyway? She lets them each write one song per album. Ah, that would explain a lot. Hey, I got a story for you, Mr. Snooty Rock Journalist. Prepare ye all butts for maximum kickage as Strong Bad organizes a legendary battle royale of the bands! No, you're not. No, really. It'll have security and celebrity judges and everything. And ponies? Yeah, and ponies! But hey! Woohoo! Check out this article of clothing. What is it? It's a tour jacket for this hot new indie rock band called Security. Security? I've heard people talking about them. A lot of people. See? They're hot! But talk is cheap. Legit indie bands have street teams that use guerrilla marketing tactics to get their name and logo up all over the place. So, about that jacket I showed you. Yes. It's not really a tour jacket. It's just a run-of-the-mill security jacket. I don't believe you. What? I think you're just trying to cover up for liking a band no one's ever heard of. Well, you're lame and I'm awesome. Bye! See ya! Marzipan always keeps her kitchen boarded up when Strong Mad's around. Yikes, that is one pathetic looking bat! For your information, Strong Bad, that is Paz Quill, an endangered and precious Lithuanian albino vegan bat. You're welcome. What's the wide, big guy? Lithuanian? 
You can talk to him after rehearsal, Strong Bad. Man, you gotta stop wasting your time with Marzipan and join a real band. I would have said that when I was there, was it fun? A three album deal with guaranteed four point back end? Ding dang, maybe I should join the cool tapes. Maybe you should stop interrupting our rehearsals. That's the original Cool Tapes graffiti that gave Marzipan the idea for her band. Considering Homestar painted it, she's lucky both words are spelled correctly. That's a really good idea, but it's wrong. Marzipan! Take five, everyone. What is it, Strong Bad? What are you guys practicing for? The Cool Tapes have been invited to perform at a concert to benefit the endangered Lithuanian albino vegan bat. Like poor Paz Quell over there. Ick, yuck! What are you guys practicing for? The Cool Tapes have been invited to perform Quell over there. Ick, yuck! What's Strong Sad doing lurking around here? He thinks he's some kind of a snooty rock journalist now, but I think he's here to raid my bran muffins. I am not! Stay on cool! You know it! I think the Zen Rock would feel more aligned with its Shaka Khans somewhere else. That won't do anything interesting. Nope. Email. Chit chit to wit to wit email. Dear Strongman, in your opinion, what era of rock rocked the hardest? Looking for validation, Mark Darren! Sorry, Mark, I don't validate. Maybe check with pubs. But I can tell you exactly when rock rocked the hardest. When you're 18 to 24 years old. But if you're over 24, man, sucks to be you. Because music rocks less and less with each passing year, until the next thing you know, you're listening to the oldies station and playing air guitar at a stoplight next to a car full of teenagers that spit and laugh at you! Stupid kids, they call that noise music? Curmudgeoningly, eh? Strong bad. Chugga chugga jow! Squeedle now! With the total matic sudden shot at my side, I'll totally be able to shoot all sorts of automatic pictures. Suddenly! Fondue! Ooh, even better! Putting bat hutches in my pants. Hope I don't get bit. Man, those fruity little bats are really packed in there. It's like a giant pulsing wad of brown fur, teeth, and ears. Not sure which is duller, my brother or his padded safety sword. Let's call it a tie. Ah, the mighty Pudonkis. His natural camouflage made him virtually invisible to predators in his native environment. Which was, apparently, a clown's house. Man, young
younger me was a genius. If I can take a photo that looks like this crude drawing, I'm a cinch to win that limousine contest. If I want a sword on my album cover, I'm gonna need a hot blonde to be holding it. Or at least, a blonde. One fish, two fish, starfish, carfish! I think I like you, glowy starfish. You do not make me want to barfish. Through the magic of forced perspective, the unsuspecting automobile is threatened by the long thought extinct. Giant Pudonkis! Arr! After all the grief I went through to get this thing, there's no way I'm just giving it back to him. Hey, Marzipan! What? Could you hold this for me? Why? I'm working on this album cover and I need a hot blonde to pose in a bikini with a giant sword on top of a flaming car. And even though you really aren't all that hot... Uh... So, you'll think about it? Lucky for me, Marzipan's not the only blonde in town. I better not. I don't think my face can stand any more invisible slapping. Wonder if there are any other hot blondes who might want to pose for me. According to this, all I gotta do to win a day with Limousine is take a photo of the best album cover ever and drop it in the mail. Hey, to cheat, I've got a great idea! Hmm? I need a hot blonde to hold this sword for the greatest album cover ever! And you're the closest thing available. I knew I could count on you to cheat! I'll see you later at the shoot. Don't forget to wear a bikini! Man, you gotta stop wasting your- I don't know. A three- Maybe- The cheat, baby! You ready to make some magic? <laughs> Alright already! Just let me get my f-stop adjusted. That is the coolest living heavy metal album cover ever! I gotta save this for posterity! Okay, I'm feeling lucky about this one. Let's see now. Dinosaur, check! Burning car, check! Imploding star, check! Hot blonde with a sword, check! Looks like we're ready to make some album cover history! Hey, to cheat, why don't you give us a good scream? Something that says... Terrified, determined, and oh, my loincloth! <laughs> Whoa, this is great! I better take this before I lose the light or something. Man, did I choose the right lens or what? This is like the coolest album cover ever! I better send this off to Limousine before its coolness freezes a hole through my pants. Ah, the mighty Pudonkis. Huh? This seems like a good place for a stencil. Now that's a spicy bit of graffiti! Excuse me, is this the fabled fence where all the hipsters vandalize public property with the names of their favorite bands? Why, yes! Yes it is! Oh good! I'm a snooty rock journalist looking for the next big thing to be pretentious about! 
Do tell. Security. Hmm. So, a strong body is famous fence, everything you hoped it would be? And more. I'm especially intrigued by this new band called Security. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about them. You have? Oh, sure. I can't go anywhere without hearing people whispering about getting security. So, a strong... And... You have? Oh. Hey, I got a story for you, Mr. Snooty Rock Journalist. Organizes... No. And... Yeah. Woo. So, about that jacket I showed you. Yes. It's not really a tour jacket. It's just an everyday lame-o security jacket. You can't fool me. Huh? You don't think I'm cool enough to be a fan of that cool new security band that everyone's talking and vandalizing about. Uh, yeah. That's it exactly. Where'd you get that jacket? I have to have one. Yeah, good luck with that. These babies were snatched up by all the hipsters weeks ago. Oh. I guess I could let you borrow mine for a while. Really? As long as you promise not to get any failure on it. I promise. I won't fail you. Hip Indy Credville, here I come. How do I look? Like a guy who's totally tapped into today's underground music scene. I'm going to show this off to everybody. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> hey, security guy! Is that what they call fans of security? Interesting. Well, hello yourself, security guy. No, dummy. That's what I call dummies who've signed up to run security at Strong Bad's Battle of the Bands. Oh, but... You're wearing my security jacket, ain't you? Yes, but... So take this billy club and get securitizing. Okay... How go the security preparations for my legendary music thingy? Oh, not too bad. I use my lunch hours to continue pursuing my dream of being a snooty rock journalist. And besides, this yellow jacket is like a magical backstage pass to all the acts. Think of all the juicy gossip I'll pick up. Strong bad? How's Strong Side working out as head of concert security? He's great! Really? No, but the kid sure looks good and yellow. Well, that Battle of the Bands ain't gonna book itself. I'm out of here. Rock over London, Strong Bad. Rock on Chicago. Man, that picture turned out incredible! Like, airbrushed on the side of a custom van incredible! Okay, let's do this thing! One day with limousine contest. Staten Island. 10301. Limousine album immortality? Here I come! Dear Mr. Bad, are you ready to rock harder than anyone in your pimply male teenage peer group has ever rocked? Because your bodacious album cover is the winner of the Rip Roar and Rock Devu with Limousine Contest! Just let us know when and where and we'll be there, ready to suck your rocks off! Keep on seeing Limousine! Alright! I wonder if Bubs will let me start looking for bands now. Bubs! Strong bad? Bubs, I found some celebrity judges for the Battle of the Bands! Who that? Oh, just a little small-time band called Limousine! Limousine? 
I'll make millions selling hairspray and scarves. Well, now that you've gotten some celebrity judges and duped that poor marshmallow boy into running security, it's time to start signing up some acts. Some acts? That's a great idea! Here are the entry forms. I'd say entry fees from three bands would be enough to cover your video game repairs. Three it is. Let me just put on my invisible concert promoter hat. There we go. Time to sign up some crappy bands. And I'll get started building some stages. So, Bubs, got any hot tips on cool bands? Well, there's the cool tapes over at Miser Pans, pom-poms over at the club. Hey, didn't you and Coach Z used to be in a band? Coach Z, don't talk to me about that big green sellout. Bob Tronic Security Robot activated! Sit your butt down until the authority arrives! Oh crap! Robot activated! Bob Tronic Security Robot activated! Bob Tronic Security Robot activated! Aha! Gotcha! You've just been caught by my new security robot! It's omniscient, omnipotent, and I'm awesome! Now keep your hands off my stuff while I go back to planning your concert! Why didn't you just build me one of those to run security? Bombtronic security robot activated! I said, stop trying to steal my stuff! Bombtronic security robot activated! That stupid Bob's robot won't move! Knock it off! Bombtronic security robot activated! Security robot! I wonder if I can... Bombtronic security robot! <laughs> Don't mean to alarm you, Robobs, but I think you just got neutered. Uh-oh! Looks like I just stole something from Bub's own dang store. I better frame somebody for this quick. Finally, I can take this. What the? It's super glued to the counter. Pretty sneaky, Bub's. I'm gonna have to uh, talk to Coach Z if I want to get him and Bub's back together. Where should I put the locker room? Cool Tapes Glamour Shots. Suitable for framing, autographing, or elaborate voodoo rituals. I'll just take one, in case I need to place an emergency hex on marzipan or something. Mmm, from the color of this gravel and the stank of this fish smell, I'd say that marzipan recently cleaned out her aquarium. I don't need a bunch of cool tapes photos cluttering up my infinite pockets. Yo! Bring it down, gang. What now, strong bad? Are the cool tapes cool enough to compete in my Battle Royale of the Bands? Battle Royale of the Bands? Hmm. Oh, too bad. Too bad? Your contest is on the same weekend we're playing a benefit show for the endangered Lithuanian albino vegan bat, like poor little Pasquale over there. You're turning down a shot at the big time to sing for a bunch of salad-munching, pink-eyed, no-blood suckers? Yup. Marzipan! Take five, everyone. What is it, Strong Bad? Sure you won't change your mind about entering my Battle of the Bands? As long as these poor bats are endangered, the cool tapes will stand ready to rock on their behalf. If I use this alarm here, Bubs will know I've been stealing stuff from his store. 
Which is why I should use it where I can pin it on someone else. No way. Hey, Marzipan, can I get you to sign this cool tapes picture? Sure thing. Who should I make it out to? Make it out to Awesome Strong Bad. Fine. Too Awesome Strong Bad. You are not awesome. Love, Marzipan. Here. Fine. I was just gonna throw poison tip darts at it anyway. Nah. Make it out to Home Star. What, he's too busy to see me himself? Fine. Here. Ouch. Is there such a thing as written domestic abuse? Make it out to Bubs. Dear Bubs, thanks for all the free recyclable guitar picks. Marzipan, here you go. Thanks. How about one for Hamsar? He's a fan? Oh yeah, he raves about the cool tapes all the time. Or at least I think he does. He's raving about something. Cool, let's see. Dear Hamsar, spaghetti, dump truck, laser beams, weaselly matzo ball. Nice! How about one for Coach Z? Oh, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. He's been sending us some pretty disturbing fan mail lately. That's just Z being Z. Oh, okay. Dear Coach Z, all my best, Marspan. Cool. I'm sure he'll love it. Bum Bum definitely didn't take that sword back from me by force. And wedgies. I, uh, donated it. Hey, an electric stew pot! Ow! Making some victory chowder after you find a singer, eh? Tasty! Yeah. Yo, Pom Pom! Auditions? No, I... Sorry! Pom Pom? It's a bottle of wine! <laughs> Whoa, Escar, go! Club Techno Chocolate's going really upscale! Or maybe this is just a sneaky solution to their snail problem. The way me so what I must go! I'm glad they changed the name to Club Techno Chocolate. So much better than Club Trance Fudge. Man, this thing looks like it hasn't been used in about four to six weeks. It's one of Pom Pom's instrumental piano albums. How he still managed to get chicks without squealy vocals or guitars is beyond me. Me, 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 me. Mmm, a plate of barbecued buffalo wings. That's a bottle cap from a 40 if cold one's dry. 40 gallons, that is. I usually go for the green bottles, but when the night is right, time to hit the purple stuff. ooh -ah. Yeah! Ta-da! It's a smooth bomb bomb poster. I wonder how many teenage girl balloon people have one of these on their bedroom wall. What are you doing hanging out in a cool club like this? You know there's no real chocolate, right? I'm trying to walk up the north to audition for Pom Pom. Audition? For what? Pantsless wonder? Pom Pom scouring the globe for a singer to zazz up his instrumental piano stylings. So why aren't you auditioning? Aside from the complete lack of talent, I mean. 
I would, but I forgot my accompanying music. So why? I would. Pom Pom looks like a beach ball on a mission. He's going through bunches of glossies and demo tapes, looking for a singer to turn his piano act into a smash hit duo. How's Pom Pom picking potential partners anyway? He's looking for a smooth voice, good looks, and gorgeous gams. But most of all, he wants somebody who can improvise lyrics to go along with his piano playing. Hey, Homestar! How'd you like a one-way coach class ticket to total stardom? Ooh, a battle of the bands? Yeah! For only a few handfuls of cash, you could be the next limousine! Oh, but I don't have any handfuls of cash. And I'm not in a band. At least not yet. Are you sure you won't sign up for the Battle of the Bands? Not now, but if I can nail this audition. Break an arm, good buddy. Ooh, maybe I can make some bubbling cheese lava to dangle the cheat over. Whoa, this actually made a nice fondue. Even better to dangle the cheat over. The way. Mmm, a bubbly pot full of melted cheese. You can make a pretty good fondue with this stuff. Yeah. It's one of Pom Pom's instrumental piano albums. How he still managed to get chicks without squealy vocals or guitars is beyond me. The way me to what I must go. And now for a moldy oldie from the Pomerino himself. Girl, we got a food related love. And it makes me want to sing. It's a hot and tangy feeling, kind of like a... Plate of snails? That doesn't rhyme. Once more, but this time with feeling. Girl, we got a food related love. And it makes me want to sing. It's a hot and tangy feeling, kind of like a... Strong bad? That doesn't rhyme. Me, 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 me. Girl, we got a food related love. And it makes me want to sing. It's a hot and tangy feeling, kind of like a... Molo? Molo does it rhyme. And now for a moldy oldie from the Pomerino himself. Girl, we got a food related love. And it makes me want to see. It's a hot and tangy feeling, kind of like a... Like a buffalo wing. Blue cheese away. We can dine in, or we can take it to go. Our food related love makes me all tipsy, kind of queasy. Like a... Like a pint of Molo. I used to think it was Molo till you told me it's not. And when we food related kiss, it never food related fails. Our lips are all slimy and juicy, like a like these hot butter snails. So nasty. They're so close and buttery, and they move so slow. Just like me, girl, the way I move across the dance floor. Our love is related to food, and you know that it's true. It's warm and bubbly, too. Just like a. Um, like a. Hang on, girl. Give me a minute. Just like a pot of fudge. Yeah. Oh, fight you is related 
Can't you fool? That's true. In fact, I think it might be a fool. Oh, thank you. Ooh. It's so warm and it's good. E. Find you. So true. Gui? Me? Oh, pshaw. You want to make me a star? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Palm. Yes, sir. Hey, Homestar. Pom Pom handles all my business arrangements now. So, Pom Pom, about my battle at the bands contest. A kind sort. Let's do it. What do you mean I'm not ready? I've been training my lungs out for hours. You don't believe in me. Away! I won't let you down, Colonel Palm. Everything looks good. Now for the entry fee. We'll send Bubs a check. I wonder if Bubs will be able to hear his alarm way out here. Colonel Rock Bottom's half fly bathroom tissue. Too gross. More like too nasty. The Colonel and I just had an audience about an hour ago. He gave me the Medal of Honor. What happened to all the pointless trophies? Pointless? Gold painted plastic trophies are a lasting symbol of parents forcing kids to play sports. And I sold them for two bucks. Well, well, well. So we meet again, Mr. Wire Hanger. Not so high and mighty now, are we? Coach Z! Oh, hey there, strong man. I gotta say, Coach, I really hate what you've done with the place. Step off, strong man. I've found that stamping my name on everything helps keep my mind off more important matters. Like unrequited love. Ooh. Are you done treating your locker room like a seven-year-old nerd's underwear? Not yet. I still gotta do the urinal cakes, the shower cakes, and the cupcakes. Ooh, cupcakes. Oh, wait. What's with all the sighing about marzipan? Oh, Marzipan, my little baseball bat in a dress. Ew. If you're so into Marzipan, why not tell her how you feel? I love watching train wrecks. I'm too afraid she'll reject me. If only she'd give me a sign. A sign, eh? You ever think about getting together with Bubs for a 2 duo reunion? I used to. But since we broke up, Bubs thinks I've gone soft. Plus, right now, I'm too depressed about other things. Marzipan, Marzipan. So, Bubs is dead set against the 2 duo reunion? Yup. Unless I suddenly get Marzipan out of my head and re-establish my street cred. I think I'll just back away slowly and leave you to your various miseries. Oh, Miss... Get your hands off my toilet papes. Hey, I don't see your name on it. Wait a minute. I do see your name on it. Rappers are always putting their names on their necklaces and teeth and jeweled crunk goblets. So I figured why can't the fella put his name on his own tukas paper? Wow. You are a true baller, Coach Z. Mrs. Marzip... Oh, joy. It's a poster from the Cool Tapes last tour. Hmm, industrial strength bleach. This might come in handy. Don't touch that. I'll be needing it later to clean out my urinals. with my orifice. 
Ew, please never say that again. Stay away from my gymnastical unmentionables. Quit messing with my orifice. Ew, please never say that again. I think that Mrs. Marzipan Z. I think the Z. Hello, Pittsburgh. Hello, Pittsburgh. Man, I gotta stop getting my thumb in front of the lens. Hey, coach, I got you something. Can't you see I'm obsessing and compulsing over here? To Coach Z. All my best, Marzipan. You hear that? All her best! That constitutes a legal marriage in some shady countries. You better get over there, Don Juan, before she downgrades to some of her best. Good point. Thanks, Strong Bad. Don't worry, my little rolls of marginally absorbent toilet paper. Papa Strongbad will protect you from Coach Z's unspeakable gluteal regions. Warning! This bleach is caustic, vile, and dangerous. Always handle with protective gloves and headgear, or severe bleaching, poisoning, and other not-good side effects may result. Wow! Caustic, vile, gloves, headgear? It's like this stuff was made for me! Time to gird your nasal loins, nose! We're going in! Hmm, I wonder what this does. Boeing Beacon activated! Sinchopa and Rutili Authority arrive! Boeing Beacon activated! Sinchopa and Rutili Authority arrive! I knew it was worth the extra five bucks to put a homing beacon in my robot! Sinchopa and Rutili Authority arrive! Boeing Beacon activated! Sinchopa What in the name of all that sold in bulk? I don't believe it! Coach Z stealing from my own dang store! Just like we used to rhyme about in the old days. I didn't think MC Green Bean still had it in him. But it's gonna take a lot more than Grand Theft Roboto to convince me that he's hardcore again. In fact, hey, who the heck am I talking to anyway? Stupid jackstrap fumes making me talk to myself? My frame job is working. I'll have Coach Z's street cred restored in no time. I wonder how Coach Z's mound of unwashed socks and crusty jocks is doing. Uh, I think it just waved at me. That's looking pretty rickety, Bubs. What happens when the crowd riots and bum rushes the stage? Rickety? I'm using galvanized nails, ma'am! Bubs! Strong man! How's it shaking, bacon? Hey, Bubs! I suckered Homestar and Pom Pom into performing at the Battle Royale! Homestar and Pom Pom have a band? That sounds like a delicious catastrophe! Oh, it will be. But hey, as long as Pom Pom's check clears, I'll happily watch as they go down in flames. Well, that's one band down. Get a couple more to sign up and we'll have ourselves a contest! Bubs! Strong band? Hey, Bubs, why don't you enter my Battle of the Bands? Cause I'm not in a band anymore, and battles give me gas! What happened to you and Coach Z's band? 
You mean the 2-0 duo? We broke up when Code Z went soft. Our songs used to be all about sticking it to the man and kicking it to the cheat. My name's Coach Z and Bubs is my co-host. Mm. Put on your cheat kickers and mm. kick mm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But now all he does is obsess over marzipan and sleep in a locker. No, the 2-0 duo is through-o until Coach Z starts acting like an OG. You sure you won't enter the battle royale? Now while Coach Z's still a sellout, yeah, but what if he suddenly, I don't know, became cool again? <laughs> oh, but seriously, I might think about joining back up with the Thin Green Duke if he started acting like his old self again, breaking the law, raising the ruckus, the kind of stuff we used to rhyme about. Break law, raise ruckus. Got it. I'm a little worried about the potential musical catastrophe I've midwifed by bringing Homestar and Pom Pom together. Ah, don't sweat it. You'll be surprised at the kind of duos that have caught on over the years. Pork and leaves, biscuits and foot cramps. Well, I've got rock history to write. Catch you on the flip side, boobs. See you later, promotinator. I never thought it was such a bad little to stick. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. And toilet paper. Merry vandalism, Strongly Brown! Strong Bad, did you scandalize and vandalize the stick? I'm an innocent man, Bubs. See? Coach Z? Yeah, I know. Who'd have thought? Man, he hasn't pulled that stunt since Halloween of 83. I don't care what anyone says. I think you look better all covered in toilet paper. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, okay? Stop giving me that disappointed look, okay? Watch in horror as I merge fish and technology in one ungodly combination. Actually, the whale is really a mammal, and- Rise, fish hanger! Rise! Sparks! That's an evil experiment's way of saying thanks! Welcome to Bobos! It's the 2 Duo's debut album. Oh, wait. It's actually called The Butt Album. Ooh, that's a really, really good idea. Really. But laundry bleach like this should only be used in laundry type situations. Me, 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 me. Hmm, not bad, but not good either. Washing up strong sad bats. Maybe someday I should wash my pants. This ought to get the tough stains out of 
Well, anything! All right! These bats have been bleached whiter than the King of Town's Richard Pryor impression! That bleach really cleaned up that hutch! I can't remember the last time I saw bats that white! Three, two, one, ignition. Gentlemen, we have emails. Dear Strong, you've got to help me. One of my fellow cow workers won't stop staring at me. Creeped out of my mind, please. Yeah, how are you cow workers supposed to get them doggies rolling if somebody's staring at you? When people stare at me, I just divert their attention to something I want them to do, say, or buy for me. Or in your case, cows you'd like punched, barns you'd like raised, or trails you would like to see happy. yippee ki yay strong bad. How goes your stomach-churning quest for marzipans, uh, hand? Not so good there, strong bad. Now that I'm here, I'm all froze up. What should I do next? Well, you could try holding a boombox over your head for a few days. I tried that once. Didn't go so hot. Joy. Still striking out with old baseball bat? I mean, marzipan? I can't even get her attention. Got any ideas? Try reading some poetry. All the hot lady types love poetry. Hey, that's right. And if there's one thing I know, it's how to bust a fat rhyme. Yo, one, two, one, two. Uh, yo, what light breaks through that window there? It's a uh, marzipan, and she's got yellow hair. Okay, forget the poetry. Still striking out with old baseball bat? I mean, marzipan? I can't even get her attention. Got any ideas? Well, if you want to get her attention, you probably should throw some of those pebbles at her window. That's how they do it in the movies all the time. Hmm, you think? Sure. Nothing. I'll just take another one. Hey, Marzipan, could I get another autograph? Sure. Make it out to Home Star. What, he's too busy to see me himself? Fine. Here! Ouch! Is there such a thing as written domestic abuse? Yo! Bring it down, gang. What now, Strong Bad? Don't look now, but Coach Z is pining outside your window. Don't remind me. I knew that autograph picture was a bad idea. Should I go out and uh, rough him up? Please? I think if we just ignore him, he'll go away. Well, I'll let you get back to killing that cat. Or whatever that noise you were making was. Goodbye! These little bits of gravel need a big brother to look up to. There. Hopefully Zenrock's example will keep these pebbles from turning to a life of crime. Or erosion. Still striking out with old baseball bat? I mean marzipan? 
I can't even get her attention. Got any ideas? I think you should take another shot to throw in those pebbles at her window. Again? I've got a good feeling about them this time. Okay. Yoo-hoo. Oh, faddle. I'll be over somewhere else. Stombad, what do you think you're... Coach Z, you know you're not allowed within 500 feet of my house. But my darling... Your darling? You just busted my super energy efficient window. Now skid at. Ah, uh, what'd I do? Man, that was great! It was? Throwing rocks through old man Mazapan's windows. Just like we used to rap about in the old days. Yeah, those was some good times. The old one, two, a one, one, two. They sure were, man. Listen, I know I've been hot on you for a while, but these last few hours, you've really shown me something. You're still an old school old fool, just like you were back when. I am? You bet, man. If you ever want to get the duo duo back together again, just give me a holla! Well, how about that, Strong Bed? I didn't get the girl, but I got my precious street cred back. It's a washed up hip hop miracle. So, about my concert. No time for that now. I gotta go write some dope rhymes. Let's see here, uh, Coach Z, good teeth, lady something, roast beef. Marzipan! Take five, everyone. What is it, Strong Bad? I can't believe Good Z broke your window. At least it's only one window this time. Back when the 2 duo was popular, my windows were being broken every other day. Ah, uh, good times. Stay on cool. You know it. Hey, Marzipan, looky what I found! Hmm, could it be? Give me a high meh, the cheat. <coughs> oh my, it's the Chiropterological Miracle! Boss, boss, boss! Here, Pasquale, go and join your brothers and sisters. I guess the albino vegan bat isn't so endangered after all. Good, I didn't really want to do that benefit concert anyway. Confidentially, I never really trusted Pasquale. Yo! Bring it down, gang. What now, strong bad? So, now that it turns out that those lithium algonquin veggie bats aren't so endangered, maybe the cool tapes would reconsider? Hmm, Battle Royale of the Bands, with Celebrity Judges Limousine? Pretty cool, huh? I don't know, I've read some pretty awful stories about Limousine. They'll be on their best behavior, I promise. What do you say, Cool Tapers, should we enter? Boom, <coughs> Shaw! Shaw! It's unanimous, then. The Cool Tapes will officially bring their Pop Folk Thunder to the Battle Royale of the Bands. Here's our entry form and tell Bubs that our entry fee is in the mail. Couldn't you just give me the money? Sure, I could also comb my hair with live scorpions, but that doesn't make it a good idea. You're right, it's a great idea! Marzipan! Take five, everyone. What is it, Strong Bad? Well, I'll let you get back to killing that cat, or whatever that noise you were making was. Goodbye! Whoa, that's one saucy signature. Bubs! Strong bad? 
Hey, Bubs, I signed cool tapes up for the Battle Royale. Mazapan signed something you gave her? Yeah, but she told me to tell you that the entry fee's in the mail. Didn't trust you with the money, huh? No. She doesn't trust scorpions as hairdressers either. Okay, now we're talking. If you can get one more act to sign up, we'll be ready to start raking and rolling in the dough. Bubs! Strong bad? So, Bubs, is the 2-0 duo ready for its big comeback? Heck yeah, man! I got Skeezy all tuned up and everything! And since I'm handling the logistics, I'll just take the entry form and the entry fee myself! ka -ching! Well, that's three acts. Looks like your show is ready to go, Strong Bad. At last! Now I can finally fix my precious fun machine! Now give me that money! Slow down there, Richie Rich! First, let me take out the expenses! Expenses? Let's see, here's the prize money, the trade unions, porta potties, poop masons, the 10% I'm skimming off the top behind your back, so I'll carry the G. Come on, man, how much? Good news, Strong Bad. You've made exactly one half a big sack of cash. But I need an entire big sack of cash to fix my fun machine. Want a job? I sure could use a second second assistant foot rub, Jackie. Rock and roll, strong band! Or I could form my own band, win my own battle of the bands, and use my own prize money to repair my own fun machine. I can't believe how much sense that makes. Now who's left to join my band? <laughs> can I borrow a thousand napkins? Oh, crap! Now I know we've all been rehearsing our brains out, which wasn't the problem for you, Hamsar. So I think it's finally time for us to name our band. In the spirit of solid rockadarity, we'll each pick a word. Diamond! Octopus! It's machine! No offense, but that's the worst thing I've ever heard and you're both idiots. Let's try it again. Devastating! Omelet? Iguanodon! No offense, but... Deluxe? Oyster? Insurance? No offense. Degenerate. Oatmeal. Incorporated. No offense, but... Demonic. Olive loaf. Insomniacs. No offense. Deluxe. Oyster. It's machine. Hmm. Well, it's not as heavy and or metal as I'd like. But brain-crunching music like ours can make even the dumbest bad names seem cool. Okay, world. Get your socks ready to be rocked off by... Deluxe Oyster It's Machine! A one, a two, a come and feel the brain crunch! Thing. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out and sabotage all the other bands. You guys keep, uh, rocking. I'm gonna go uh, find some groupies or something. Make sure they bring dip. D O I. 
Well, not menacing. D O I. I didn't think it was possible, but from down here, my band looks even worse. Stop sucking! Thank you! We'll be here all week! A DOI poster? I never gave any approval for these. It does kind of rule, though. Okay, I approve. Man, I'm gonna have to engage in some serious sabaduji to make those other bands blow more chunks than DOI. Yep, we still suck. I won't be able to write any more adventures of the lovable Team Girl Squad until I get some more paper. What's this? Sweet! An unspoiled limousine coloring book! VG condition, light cover wear, some creasing. Oh, I'm gonna spoil this thing rotten. Um, what is this supposed to be? We're from the bad limousine! Strong man! Here to judge your battle royale of the band! With your Rick Roar and Rendezvous with Limousine! You're not Limousine! You're a piece of cardboard with some cheap speakers and a microphone! This is the most disappointed I've been in Limousine since their court-ordered PSAs against chocoholism. How about that DOI, huh? They're really tearing it up! I'm about to tear up their entry form if they don't find a song to play soon! At least their lousy lead singer got off stage! So, what are DOI's chances of winning the Battle of the Bats? Chances? They barely even have a shot at winning, much less a full chance! Maybe if every other band mysteriously started sucking all of a sudden! Hmm, sudden mysterious suckage. I might be able to help with that. So if you're not really here, where are you, really? We're Zena down I-97 in our tour bus mozine. Beaming our mascaraed eyes, pierced ears, and teased hair to you, be a satellite. So basically you're sitting in a tour bus with some crappy webcams. Rock and roll! Webcams! <sighs> well, it's been real. Or not. But I got a show to run. Later! Hey there, limousine. Strongman! Are you rocking yet? Oh, yeah. Isn't it hard to judge a battle of the bands from thousands of miles away? Well, don't tell anyone! We really don't do much judging at these things! What? We let the squealy Dio meter do it! You're letting a soulless machine be the judge of my Battle of the Bands? That's awesome! At first I was disappointed you guys didn't show up in person, but I think I actually like the squealy Dio meter better! Yeah, that thing gets all the groupiest groupies when he tours with us! What's the current status of the battle? The squilly deal meter knows all, little man! Keep it real, limousine! Hey, was that a jab? Um, limousine? Yes, yeah, strong man! Would you mind holding this bleach for a couple of minutes? It's kind of a product placement thing. Totally! I hold bleach all the time! Bleaching my hair, bleaching my jeans, bleaching puke stains! Thanks! Hmm... Crap! This cardboard cutout doesn't have any useful handholds! Oh man! I wanted to be holding bleach! Whoa!
It's a box of Strong Sad's old records. I better borrow them for safekeeping. I could get scratched sitting there in that box. Hugo left me miserable. This must be that ode to Victor Hugo that Strongside cut in the mall a few years back. Ah yes, the three o'clock twist. Strongside used to dance to that song over and over again until he'd get dizzy and throw up. And then slip in the throw up and throw up again. I can't wait to take my coloring book home and give Limousine some new tattoos and snakes and groupies and name them George. Whoa, forget stupid note cards hidden under boxes. I just got the bestest Teen Girl Squad idea ever. Teen Girl Squad meets Limousine! Towing up those bangs, gal pals. We're sneaking into a Limousine concert. I want to crowd surf. I want to have my elbow sign backstage. I want to sing back up. Back up? Mm, okay. Rony miscommunication breakdown! It's always the same! Lyrics about party in with chicks in Los Angeles! Lyrics! Such a wordsmith! Did you major in English Lit? You're not hot enough to be talking to me! English Lit! Excuse me, Gerga! Wanna give me a tour of your tattoos? Sorry, un unskinny bop. When my shirt's off, that means... Two-handed and one foot tapping solo! His solos are his trademark! Say there, little missy. You're never gonna date a rock star with baggy jeans like that. Um, gross. You're older than both my dads. Can I get off Scott Free since I don't even like this kind of music? Then why don't you just go listen to some college music in an abandoned warehouse or something? P -p 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 Thanks for the lift! Dup, 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 dup. <laughs> Arena rocked! It's over! Whoa, that turned out awesome! I should start Teen Girl squatting our entire set of encyclopedias next! My mind-bending limousine Teen Girl Squad crossover turned out great! I should show this to everyone! DOI might not be the best band in any given 10-foot radius, but at least we're better than a 2-0 duo. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! I may be soft around the middle, but I'm still hardcore! He's stealing stuff from his own dang store! I said, and we're out! <laughs> These guys put the really old in old school! Great! The one act I thought would be worse than DOI is actually kicking it live! Hey there, limousine! Strongman! Are you rocking yet? Oh, yeah! Why is the crowd going so nutso for Coach C's not-so-good rapping? It's not the rhymes they love, it's the moves! All great bands know how to move on stage, and the duo duos got moves that proves! Proves what? Proves that terrible rhyming can be overcome by uncontrollable spazzing! So it's really just Coach Z's quote-unquote dancing that's keeping the duo duo from losing the battle of the bands? Yeah, totally! Well, it's been real. Or not. But I got a show to run. Later! That's the old fishing hole. I think it's got more apostrophes than fish. the dedication page of the limousine manual. 
where they thank their fans, their mothers, and their fans' mothers. Dang it! Coach Z's fancy dancing prancing is making everybody forget that his lyrics is whack. Too old duo. That banner would look a lot cooler with a few umlauts. Bubs, you're a guitar hero. Can't talk now, strong man. I gotta get ready to segue into Coach Z's next dance break. Hey, the cheat. Why aren't you laying the beat down for Marzipan? A strong mad bass solo? I can't imagine why you'd want to miss that. Shouldn't you be on stage making Homestar's dreams a nightmarish reality? Shouldn't you? Hey, the cheat! A strong. This must be the box of seven inches Bubs is pulling samples from. Let's see what's in here. Man, Bubs has all the classics. Damn spray! Left shift, left shift, left shift, left all the leaf. They let you go with the ball and just take one day. They let you go. Okay, let's see if Homestar can remember his lines without somebody dare to coach him along. What in the... That's why I think we should break up. But still... Be a lie to make out sometimes. No strings attached, Cole. Thank you. Thank you twice. Yay! Marry me, Homestar! Oh, you're too kind. Too kind. We sure have some lovely lady types in the audience tonight. Oh. Oh. What the crap? At auditions, Homestar could barely string two words together, much less smooth talk anyone. Something's fishy, and I need to find that fish, gut it, and deep fry it. Hey, useless, can you get me back and or on stage? I'll let you pass if you can answer my riddle. What has a mask, a bad attitude, and smells like burnt ozone? Uh. Mama Elephant, this is Baby Elephant. We got a situation here, over. This is Baby Elephant. We got a situation over here. Hey! Move it along, citizen. <laughs> Baby Elephant scores again. Over. Baby Elephant scores again. Over. Hey, Pom Pom! Yeah, you do look pretty busy. Sorry. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm busy? Playing the piano? Hmm, that was curious. Pom Star. Two not so great tastes that taste like a great together. You know, like a sewer grate. Something that would have gross green stuff on it. Hey, very white. I just want to give a shout out to all the carbon-based life forms in the audience tonight. Must be a convention in town or something. He's so sincere. It's like he found my letters and read each one out loud. I gotta figure out how Homestar's pulling off this smooth charade. Ooh, wait. Hey, play smooth charade! Hey, shouldn't you be on stage with the rest of your... Cool tapes. The cheat's in the middle of a one-hour drum solo, so I thought I'd come over and watch Homestar embarrass himself. But I never expected him to be so genuinely charming. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be on stage with Bubs? 
Ah, uh, Bubs is doing one of his extended guitar solos. So I thought I'd come over here and get my swoon on. Oh. Hey there, limousine. Strongman, are you rocking yet? Oh, yeah. You guys are cardboard professionals. Maybe you can tell me. How in the name of Ingve did Homestar get all smooth? I don't know, man. It's like Pop Pop puked all his style right into Homestar's mouth. Like a mother bird feeding her chicks. That is interestingly disgusting. Well, it's been real. Or not. But I got a show to run. Later! Coach Z. Quit your yabbering, SB. I got some great A swooning to do here. Oh. Hey, shouldn't you be the cheat genuine? I think this little patch of ground is already horked up its share of treasure today. Let's see what Marzipan's stupid band has cooked up. Yay! All right, all right! Out of sight, man! Thank you, thank you! For our next number, we'd like to take you on a musical journey I like to call The Same Riff for Several Minutes. Man, they've been practicing. But it's nothing I can't find a way to sabotage. Cool tapes. I'm supposed to be the one that's into obsolete media and electronics. I don't know how Strongman differentiates between strings with those thumbs he has for fingers and those forearms he has for thumbs. Hey, the cheat! <laughs> hey, Marzipan! I'm busy right now, Strongman. I better wait until she's taking a break. I'd like to dedicate these next 16 bars to the plight of our friendly sea mammals. I think... Yeah! The power of rock compels you! And the ongoing destruction of our dwindling wetlands. Oh, hello, Billy Club. You want it? Don't you need it? Not really. I prefer to keep the peace through rational discourse. Yeah, that'll work. Backed up by 10,000 volts! <laughs> wow, it's the lyric sheet to the song that plays over and over again during the limousine game. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. And the struggle against the exploitation of women in the media. Hey, useless. Can you get me back and or on stage? I'll let you pass if you can answer my riddle. What has a... Uh... <laughs> hey, shouldn't you be on stage pursuing your laughable dreams or something? Mr. Pom Pom is giving my golden vocal cords a break while he plays an extended piano solo. Which is super cool, because it gives me a chance to make Marzipan think I support her. Yay! So? Don't stop me now, SP. I'm being supportive. Yay! Yo, Bob, shouldn't you be on stage with Coach Z? I put him on an extended dance break. They'll be fine for a couple hours at least. So? Don't bother me while I'm cheering, man! Yay! I'd like to dedicate these next 16 bars... Hey there, limousine! Strongman! Are you rocking yet? Oh, yeah. I can't believe everyone's getting all crazy-go-nuts for Marzipan's preachy-screechy band. 
Believe it, man! The cool tapes make me want to jump around and smash some furniture! I just wish that cute bomb that keeps talking would stop! Keep talking! I'd like to dedicate these next 16 bars to the plight of our friendly sea mammals and the ongoing destruction of our dwindling wetlands and the struggle against the exploitation of women in the media. Man, what a downer! Mm. Come on, you don't really think marzipan fans are that great, do you? Man, if they just stop getting all political, those cool tapers would be running away with this contest! I think I'll go look for something more, uh, animated to talk to for a while. Bye! I'd like to dedicate the- Hey, Marzipan! I'm busy right now, Strong Bad. I better wait until she's taking a break. Cardboard zine. What is it, dude? Could you hold on to this bleach for a minute? Whatever you say, man. After all, it's your Rip Roar and Rock Debut with Limo Zine! Hey, man, should we be pouring bleach into this pristine pond? Don't worry, it's eco friendly bleach. It'll make it way pristinier. Okay, this looks promising. Hot sprinkly dang! This totally looks like limousines polluting the sprinkly heck out of that pond! Oh, must have got some bleach in my eye there for a minute. That stuff's nasty. Dick. Hey, sweet! It's the hard-to-find limousine shot glass featuring unfortunately named drummer Mary Palaroncini. to get back together with a big clumsy dumsy like you that was all me but i'm never ever ever sharing a stage arena or transient men's motel lounge with you ever again ever well on with the show i guess one two one one two <laughs> 
And that takes care of the duo duo. That's the third time this week I've gotten them to reunite and break up again in the same day. Ooh, that looks painful, but pretty hilarious. Hey, Roundy, how about that duo duo reunion? Can't stop staring at the flaming wreckage of the duo duo reunion? <laughs> Word. Hey there, Limo Z. Oh. Is it me, or has the crowd turned against Coach Z? Bad dancing is the number one problem facing high-risk youngsters, Strong Bad. These guys are a menace. Keep it real, Limousine. Hey, was that a jab? Don't make us come down there, punk! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But with Hamsar and the King of Town in my band, I'm gonna need to make sure every other act gets a nice big slice of suck pie. Hey, cardboard imposters! Can your little webcam feel pain? Oh, sorry. I was just, uh, giving you this billy club. Whoa, cool! We can have a hot cop chick hold on to this in our next video! Okay, well, work with me. Wow, this is great! If you squint your eyes, it kind of looks like Perry is wailing the amber grease out of that whale! Or is that Gary? Wow, this really makes it look like Limousine's pouring toxic bleach into the pot. Especially if you squint your eyes and don't think about it too much. I'm really proud of the way I captured Cardboard Limousine's dead shark-like eyes as they nonchalantly clobbered that poor baby whale. Mind, some of us are trying to enjoy the concert. In many cultures, large nostrils are a sign of virility. In many cultures, large nostrils are a sign of virility. Yeah, totally! If seal is punctured, notify supervisor at once. If seal is punctured, notify supervisor at once. Oh, uh, I didn't copy that. What should I do with my seal again? Over? Looky here, Marzipan! What's this? Oh my, what's Limousine doing to those? Oh, that's not nice. Give me that! I get very upset when I see women being exploited in the media. Even if it is a poorly drawn coloring book. Poorly drawn? Still, we all make mistakes now and then. I once accidentally wore a fur coat for an entire day before I realized it wasn't faux fur, but faux faux fur, made from real faux faux. Take a look at this photo! Oh dear! Those poor fish! Gimme that! People who despoil the environment like that really baba my ganoush. Those limousiners better watch themselves or I don't know what I'll do. Check this out, Marzipan! Trials of life! Who could be so cruel? Gimme that! People who assault peaceful sea mammals really steam my dumplings. In fact, I think I've just about had enough of limousine and their not at all nice behavior. Listen up, everyone. I've got a new song I want to sing. A song about our so-called judges. It's called, Limousine is Not Very Nice. What? Say what? We what?
Catch up with Marzipan after the show. I don't know how strong that differential. Shouldn't you be crooning? Well, I was taking a break to pretend to support my girlfriend. Now I'm just kind of embarrassed. And I heard that limousine bites the heads off of endangered albino bats. Man, we dropped that from our act years ago. Ooh. So I guess the two old duos come back as kaput? Kaput and kaputty! At least we're not the only group having a bad day! And have you noticed that as Limousine's hair gets taller, the hole in the ozone layer gets bigger? Oh. Hey there, Limo! Oh! I guess the cool tapes won't be winning any contest today! Well, maybe a contest for worst song I ever heard was not your Battle of the Bands. Well, it's been real. Or not. But I got a show to run. Later! Shouldn't you be on stage lobbing more musical hand grenades at the judges? Carol and I are taking a much-needed break from those nasty limousiners. And what better way to calm down than listening to Homestar's dreamy voice? <sighs> Tired of trying to make things work as the one o uno Ah, uh, Bubs will be back. He loves me like a brother. Hates me like a brother, too. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. If I wanted your opinion, I need your brain. But I've got a personal message I want to send out to each and every one of y'all. If I wanted your opinion, I need your brain. What? No, wait, cats and dogs. What I meant if to say... If swelling persists for more than three hours, consult your physician immediately. If swelling persists for more than three hours, consult your physician immediately. Ugh, how am I supposed to swoon to that jargle? Homestar, you were melting my heart. Now you just sound like you're melting. Boo! 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 Whoa! Major Boo! breakdown! Boo! <laughs> well, boys, thanks to the brilliance of your fearless leader, DOI is about to win the Battle of the Bands! Let's just see the proof on the old squilly d o meter Ah, horse parts. We're still behind. Looks like we'll actually have to rock. Somehow. All right, expensive ticket holders! Are you ready to be musically? Sonically, and if all goes according to plan, physically assaulted! Hmm, tough crowd. Of people in bands I just sabotaged. Lucky for me, I've got a secret weapon to make up for my band's overall suckiness. Almost better than a flying pig, maybe cooler than a giant robotic demon, is my stage prop to end all stage props! Guaranteed to drive this stupid crowd into a frothing metal frenzy! Once I push that big red button over there, the prize money, the prize glory, and the prize ladies will be mine! Oh, and I'll finally be able to fix my fun machine. Prop release button, do what you were born to do! What the crap? Who's been gnawing through my electrical cable? <laughs> Bro, 
really should have seen that one coming. Time for Plan X. All I have to do is climb that ladder, make my way across the stage lights, hope that speaker won't get in my way, and pull the emergency prop release lever. That's the dryish ice fog machine Bob's talked me into renting. It was supposed to make our performance all spooky and creepy, but all the fog's being blown away by that stupid fan that Bob's also talked me into renting. That's the dry. It was supposed that Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of Town! What's that? Oh! Yikes! Man, the king's not fooling around with his axe axe. Here, lobby, 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 lobby. Kids, this may look like fun, but Strong Bad is a stunt driver on a closed course with a team of licensed crustacean wranglers backing him up. So remember, never put live buttered lobsters down your pants. Unless, you know, you got five bucks riding on it. Then knock yourself out. No way! What the crap is that? The theremin is one of the first electronic instruments ever created, and the first to be played without actually touching it. Invented by Leon Theremin in 1919 after the outbreak of the Russian Civil War... I repeat, what the crap is that? I don't know what a theremin is. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a ginormous one. That's the fan I rented to swirl fog around on stage. It may be a little too powerful, because all the fog's being blown into the next county. Okay, ladder, prepare to get ladded. Stupid fan. Must grab! German hat! Whoa! That man slid! That man slid on his knees! Oh, he's safe! He is safe! I haven't seen moves like that since the Moscow Music Peace Festival! Wait, wait! I haven't got to the cool part yet! Okay, let's rock this electronic watchamajigger! Looks like that hastily rigged fuse box is plugged into the giant fan. Too bad I can't reach it from way down here. I'll never hear you come out! I think this... This thing's way too small for my fabulously husky head. Nope. Slide to the right, y'all bridesmaids. The old wedding reception classic. Keeping white people white since 1975. Hold still, you weird little misspelling. Ladies and gentlemen, Baron von Hamsar, their commissar of metal. He's so dangerous. I wish I was that cool. Stupid Leto's ENT. Nice work! Weird instrument is the new four-necked guitar! Let's jam, Hamsar! <laughs> All right, pyrotechnical! An old classic with a new twist! Man! 
save some for later, guys. I haven't unleashed my amazing prop yet. It's our biggest fan. And like most of our fans, it's fried and useless. I think Homsar's doing just fine without any more... help from me. Ooh, I've always wanted to be the creepy guy in the rafters at a concert. I'll never be able to pull that lever while the Mega Wolfer's in the way. I'll never be... Hey! Yikes! Man, the king's not fooling around with his axe. Axe. I wonder if these lobster's claws are sharp enough to cut the cable. Hmm, guess not. I better... There you are. Uh-oh. Thought you could get away from me, did you? are all gone, but there's still a lot of butter left. Wow, check out the King of Townsend. Man, that speaker sure can take a lot of damage. Must have been Cobain proofed. I don't know what a theremin is, but I'm pretty sure that's a ginormous one. Lovers, feast your spectacles on the coolest stage prop ever deployed by man, beast, or beast man! Ta da! Boo! Whoa! Major stagecraft misfire! Curse you, fog bats! Not to be confused with fog hat. Get out of here! Scram! Baboose! Handle it! Beat it! Oh, crap! Fantastic! How's the audience ever gonna see my show stopping stage propping with all these bats and fog in front of it? Nah. Butter plus dry ice equals. Well, I'm no mathematician, but that sounds like the cool dratic formula to me. Bleached buttered bats. Sounds like an appetizer at your neighborhood American bistro franchise. Did someone say bleached buttered bats? <laughs> Wow, this is way grosser than when some kid's older brother just tells you about it. Yay! Man, freaking static, man! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the O.I. K.O.T. 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 To tall O. To tall O. Oh, my amazing stage prop drove you all so crazy that you accidentally carried the wrong guy off on your shoulders! That's cool! I'll just wait here until you realize that and come back for me! Man, between the recording session, the world tour, the fall from glory, the reunion tour, and the series of painful rabies shots, 
I almost forgot to pick up my fun machine from Bob's. Let the hot Babelian odysseying finally commence. What the crippity crap? Bob's? Could you keep it down? I'm working on the screenplay adaptation of my prize-winning articles that I never wrote. Bob's totally ripped me off, man! Like, more than usual! The fun machine's just as broke as ever! Hmm... Aha! Uh -huh. What? It's not broken. There's just a crusty wad of Wallapino cheese spray stuck in the cartridge. See? So that's where you ran off to! Rock and roll, baby! You got to slide to the right, y'all bridesmaids. Slide to the right. Left shift, left shift, left shift, left all delete. Slime, so I'll roll with fruit punch all the time. I may be soft around the middle, but I'm still hardcore. He's stealing stuff from his own dang store. I almost got nailed by a surface-to-air flying V! Sounds pretty dangerous. No, sounds. Okay, now? Okay. Shut up, we're rolling! I'm wanted outside of Brainblow City for undisclosed violations. If I go beyond this point, I could be shot on sight. Take the shot! You got what you had coming to you, Tofu! Looks, Looks like, like we're, we're gonna, gonna have, have to jump! jump. 